Hi everyone, it's Jenny here from Texo. Today we'll discuss runtime and limits in Texo. Let's start by understanding some important terms. First, let's head over to the data store where you can check the elapse time. This is the total time that it takes for an automation to complete, including cloud runtime plus any delays like daily limit pauses. Some automations have a daily limit and may take more than one day to finish. Once that limit is reached, the automation will pause and will resume on the next day. Next, we have cloud runtime. You can check it out over here. Cloud runtime refers to the time it takes to process your automation requests, excluding any delays. The cloud runtime assigned to your account varies based on your subscription plan, and it can be viewed here at the top of your dashboard. This total runtime accumulates from all of the workflows and all of the automations that you run. And you can see here a small breakdown. So all of this time combined will be your total cloud runtime. Next, here we want to see the email credits. Beside your cloud runtime on the dashboard, you will find your email credits. These are used for finding and verifying emails. And here, right next to it, we can see your limits. If you click on view your limits, you can see all of your limits and uh, remaining credits related to your workspace. Here you'll find uh, your total allowances and any free credits left. So some of the key points include your members, workspaces, concurrent execution. This is the number of workflows that or automations that you can run at the same time. You also have the social accounts. This will indicate how many total social accounts you have and how many you have left that you can still add. You also have the, I talked about the runtime and the email credits already. Uh, you have the public scraper credit. The credits for automations that scrape accounts without using your personal social account. And that is helping you avoid reaching any daily limits. That is your public scraper credit over here. As you can see, I have not used any of those. Next, you have um, pay as you go. With pay as you go, your cloud runtime is not deducted right away. Instead, your usage is tallied at the end of the month and you will be billed for the time that you have used. You have desktop access. Here it indicates if you have access to the desktop. This is all depending on your plan. And you have desktop unlimited. Let me explain what that means. The desktop unlimited feature allows you to use your desktop app for automations without detecting any cloud runtime, provided that they're executed through your desktop app. And um, you also have the API access here. AI access, integration access, and proxy access. So depending on your subscription and the kind of plan you have, this is where your um, indication will be if you have that enabled or not. One thing that you would need to remember is that these limits reset monthly according to your subscription plan. And that is pretty much it. Understanding runtime and limits in Texo helps you manage your automations more effectively. Make the most of your Texo experience by exploring these features. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.